Hi, I'm Ron Donahue, plein air artist here in Pittsburgh. Come on in to my studio. Thanks to the Westmoreland Museum of American Art for reaching out to artists that are in their collection. We really appreciate what they do, especially in these difficult times. So this is a nice creative way to, to share what we do. I'm primarily a plein air artist. I work on location throughout Western Pennsylvania. I've been doing it for the last 30 years. And I take those small studies and create larger paintings from them inside the studio which is where we are today. So we'll, uh, I'd like to give you a tour of, of the work that I've been doing. We're in the main part of my studio slash gallery right now, and you can see these large paintings on this wall. We're all done from the plein air studies. There are cityscapes, landscapes, and industrial pieces all on the put together. And as we move around the studio, you're going to see this wall has the dailies, the small plein air oil paintings on panel. This is an example of a plein air study done last month, very close to the studio. I'm interested in the texture and the way the light and shadow families fall on all this geometry. So I brought it into the studio and I've increased the scale of the painting while trying to maintain the, the spirit. You can see that they're similar, but different. Now we're getting to see my workbench and over to a series of industrial paintings that have been created within the last year. Just an important part of my series to document Western Pennsylvania and the heritage that made Pittsburgh the behemoth still mill capital of the world. What you're seeing now is my latest project. It's the Monongahela River Valley from Brownsville to Braddock. I did these on site over a 12 month period, doing the factories, mills, and the parks. This is just a sample of the 50 that were completed. Two ideas are being explored here. One is how colors change over distance, and the other is how shadows extend the field of vision in the painting. Several years ago, I had the idea to paint all 90 Pittsburgh neighborhoods alphabetically over 12 months. You can see this book has them reproduced in sequence, just the way I did them. 